In this video, I'm going to show you five awesome CI CD tools for 2021. What the heck is CI CD? Well, if I had to explain it in two words, I'd say simply it's an automated workflow. Now, of course, once you get into it, it's a lot more complicated than that, but I do have an introduction to CI CD video popping up on your screen right now if you'd like to learn more. Anyway, these five tools can help make you a more efficient developer by streamlining and automating your workflow. Also, all five of these are either totally free or have a free tier so you can get started right away. So let's get into them. First up, Travis CI. Perhaps you've seen this hard hat wearing, red mustachioed man running around on the web. Travis CI is one of the more popular CI CD tools and it helps you test and deploy your code. Because of the quick setup time with Travis CI, this can be a great tool for CI CD newbies. It integrates seamlessly with GitHub. You literally just sign in with GitHub and you have access to Travis and it supports a couple dozen programming languages like JavaScript with Node, Java, PHP, Python, C++, Ruby, and more. Let's take a look at some example builds. In this branch build flow, you start off by pushing your code to GitHub. GitHub then tells Travis CI to start building. Once your build passes the test, your code gets deployed. In this case, it's Heroku, but of course you don't have to use Heroku. Travis gives you a couple dozen options to choose from. So if you want to deploy to say GitHub pages, Firebase, AWS, you can do that too. Finally, after your code is deployed, Travis tells you and your team all about it. Now the basic pull request build flow is kind of the same process, but instead of pushing your code to GitHub to trigger Travis, you create a pull request. Once you create that pull request, if your code is mergeable, GitHub is going to tell Travis that it's okay to go, you pass the tests, and Travis is going to go update the pull request that it passed. And that's pretty much it for pull requests. Other features of Travis CI include pre-installed build and test tools, encryption for secure environment variables or files, virtual machines that are recreated after every build, and a CLI client and API for scripting. Next up on our list is Jenkins. Jenkins is another popular tool, really handy, and once you do get rolling with it, Jenkins has boss level customizations. Here's an example deployment pipeline using Jenkins. I'm not going to read off everything going on here, but notice the integrations. This pipeline is using everything from Docker to AWS to Azure Container Service. Although there's a lot to orchestrate here, the plugins used to create these customizations and integrations are probably the best feature of Jenkins. These plugins have their own subdomain, and as you can see here, you just search for what you need, or you can browse, and there are some filter options on the left here. All of these plugins are also open source and there are a few ways of installing them. And if you want to know more about a certain plugin, you can check out the repo here via the GitHub link. Because of all the options and integrations with Jenkins, I probably wouldn't recommend this tool for newbies. However, this can be a great tool for teams in an enterprise setting. Next up on my list of top CI CD tools for 2021 is stormkit.io. Now stormkit is strikingly different from Jenkins and Travis. What do I mean? Well, stormkit caters first and foremost to JavaScript developers. So if you do web development, you're interested in streamlining your workflow, you want to check this one out. They also support server-side rendering as well as Jamstack apps. And what StormKit does, just like any CI CD tool, it automates your workflow. So that means instead of you manually building, deploying, and scaling your JavaScript apps, they do it for you. Some of the features include deployment previews, so you can preview your deployments right from your pull and merge requests, multiple deployment environments, staged rollouts. You can also inject snippets really quickly from the StormKit web interface. For example, let's say you wanted to add Google Analytics, you would just paste the code right in this box and you're good to go. StormKit is in the process of going open source. The front end is already here on GitHub and developers can actually request features in the StormKit Discord server or ask for features on GitHub. So it's very developer centric, whereas a lot of these other CI CD tools are marketed towards enterprise DevOps people. This is one where individual web developers can also start really leveraging the power of CI CD. And once you sign up, you have this sample project here. You can mess around with and even and deploy. So you don't have to worry about breaking your own projects when you're giving this platform a test drive. Number four on my list is GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions is another really accessible CI CD tool, great for newer developers. If you have a GitHub account, you can get started with GitHub Actions. Now this is what's interesting about GitHub Actions. This service can do all the standard CI CD stuff. And by that, I mean build, test, and deploy your code. But then it takes it a step further because it can automate tasks outside of that context. For example, you can automate triaging and managing issues, releases, even collaborations with your user base can be automated. And if you have no idea where to start, GitHub Actions can also suggest Actions workflows. For example, this is a little bash script I whipped up. And if I go into the repo, 
I just click the Actions tab and GitHub says, hey, I see you have a shell repo here. You want to get started with a super basic workflow? And so I say, yeah, I just click it to get started. It creates this little YAML file. And in the Marketplace section here to the right, I can browse for extra features. When I find one I like, I just copy and paste it and it's integrated into the workflow. And finally, number five on my list of top CI CD tools for 2021, I bring you Gitpod. Three words, VS Code Extensions. Or is that two words? Or is it four? I don't know. However many words it is, you can actually import any VS Code extension into Gitpod. But you probably want to know what the heck Gitpod actually is in the first place. Gitpod to me is like a cloud-based IDE meets CI CD. So all this stuff you're seeing right now is on the cloud. Zero percent of it is on my machine. I feel so weightless. At the end of the day, this tool is CI CD for dev environments. So you get that automation with a bunch of different features. For example, they have pre-built workspaces. You have all these starter code projects. One really cool feature too is the snapshot option. Let's say you have an issue in your code and you need some help debugging it. What you would do is just take a snapshot and that sends all of your code and your environment to the people who are helping you. Gitpod comes with 50 hours of free cloud time a month, so definitely something to explore and have some fun with. And there you have it, the top five CI CD tools for 2021 to make your workflow less painful and more automated. Save yourself some time and sanity. Even as a solo dev, you can start leveraging some of these tools. All the ones I listed today, again, they're either completely free or feature a free tier. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button or gently press it, your choice. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.